Hey, what is going on everybody? Virginia the Buckeye Gamer and I am back. As I promised uh, in my last video, I am back again this week for my 2021 game room tour. Now, of course, you can see this looks a bit different just from the quick overview. Um, I have changed some things around and did some cable management sort of, um, which you'll, you'll see the sort of here in a second. But uh, yeah, this is just, again, a quick overview. There's some stuff off to the side there, again, that we'll cover in a moment. But let's just get this started. So just a quick look here. It's my Nintendo backpack. I got that years ago when uh, Nintendo had their Club Nintendo program. And just a closet with the door not attached. Um, my husband had to disconnect that for something. We just need to get it put back on. So nothing really to do with the game room, but anyway. Um, I'm going to turn my attention to this little setup here. Um, I actually did a quick video of this, um, called it my retro uh, setup, which it kind of is in a sense because I do have a Retron 77 and a Retron 5 uh, down there as well, but I also have my PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 hooked up as well. So I'll have access to PS1, PS2, and 3 games. Um, and that's a very tiny TV. I want to say the screen is maybe, I want to say 14 inches. Um, I'm not quite sure. But can I can give you a close-up down here. I keep a Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis controller there um, for the Retron 5. Uh, cables down here are a disaster. Um, I definitely have to work on some cable management. Um, but I will eventually. And I do... At this entertainment center at some point is going to go. Um, this is just the best that I had at the moment. Um, I do need to get something bigger because I do have a slightly bigger um, 1080p television um, that would go along fine here and then I could possibly hook up other consoles as well. Um, I actually used to have my mini consoles hooked up here like the NES Mini, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis and things like that. But I found I was getting more use out of the PlayStation consoles so that's where they went for the moment. Um, and as I get um, my uh, furniture updated, uh, that will probably change. Um, and then moving on over here is something else that is going to change eventually. Uh, just a cube shelf where I have my Nintendo, uh, Sega, and Xbox related stuff. Um, I do eventually want to get away with these cube shelves, but um, again, this is going to be swapped out at some point, hopefully within the next month or so. Um, but I promised you guys a game room tour this week, so I didn't want to let you guys down if I could help it. So uh, we're just going to start off over here. Uh, this is the NES section, uh, just a random assortment of games. Um, I'm not really collecting for the NES nowadays. Um, and of course, some of these are my husband's as well. Um, also have a Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey and Donald Game and Watch. Um, there's my NES Mini. Uh, some Super Nintendo stuff here along with uh, Super Mario Brothers Game and Watch. Um, the Tales of Fantasia for Super Nintendo. This is actually a reproduction uh, with an English translation because we never got the original Tales of Fantasia over here. It was originally... Uh, just a Super Famicom release. And again, a small stack of Super Nintendo games, Super Game Boy in the back, absolutely awesome peripheral. Um, and then these uh, consoles from, or not these consoles, but cartridges from Retrobit. These are just uh, Data East collections. I did an unboxing of those a while back too. Um, GameCube section. I also have a plush Isabelle from Animal Crossing. Um, Pretty small stack of GameCube games, but I do have a lot of the games that I am looking for, um, minus the Mario Party games, but those are kind of pricey right at the moment. So I uh, probably would say my favorite games out of here would be uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, which that's really getting expensive. Um, let's look here. I do enjoy Kirby Air Ride. I played that a lot as a kid. Um, Super Mario Sunshine is good. Well, I mean, all these games are good, but um, probably those would be my favorite. Um, I have not played Skies of Arcadia yet. I would love to get into that um, here at some point. Uh, Crystal Chronicles, 
Um, haven't gotten around to playing the original, but I did uh, play the remastered version that got released on current gen systems. So pretty fun game there. Um, next two uh, units here are for my Wii and uh, what's the beginning of my starting my journey on a complete Wii U collection. So again, we're just going to go over some highlights here. Um, Super Paper Mario, I know that gets a lot of flack, but that um, I too think that is an awesome Paper Mario game. Um, not really a whole lot here to look at. Um, again, I do want to highlight my favorite series, as you see here. Uh, this would be the Trauma Center series. So we have Trauma Center Second Opinion, which I believe that's a port of a DS game. Um, we have Trauma Center New Blood. That one was pretty hard. And then Trauma Team is my absolute favorite. All right, and then again, we're going to move on over to the Wii U. Uh, I don't really have much here to show. Um, I guess uh, my favorite Wii U game as of, at this moment is Xenoblade Chronicles X. Amazing RPG. Okay, yeah, not much else here. And there's uh, my Switch games. Um, I'm kind of at a standstill with the Switch right now just because I'm not really playing it that much at the moment. Um, so I really don't see the need to invest in it until I'm ready to really start playing it again. Um, but there are some awesome games here. So again, we're just going to go over some of my highlights. I'm going to move these Amiibo. These are the uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Amiibo. So you got to close up here some games as well. And then up here, there's the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This is actually how I prefer to play the Witcher 3. Um, so pretty good port. So I'll give you guys just a close up here. Trials of Mana, very good game. Same with Fire Emblem Three Houses. Animal Crossing New Horizons, been playing that a lot. Uh, Bravely Default 2, can't say I've really dropped that, but I haven't really got that far into it. So yeah, all my Switch games there. So pretty good stuff. And way down here in the corner, well, somewhat of a corner, <laughs> I have my Famicom and Super Famicom games. So being that I can't read Japanese, I can't really tell you much of what these are, but you guys can see them here. Um, kind of an empty space there. And then right here I do have, for the moment, um, my Sega Genesis mini console um, and then my uh, Magic Knight Re-Earth Re Game Gear is in there because I don't really have a proper place to display it. And then my NES Advantage controller. All right, now we're moving into Xbox. So this is original Xbox right here. Not a console I got into initially, but when I really started collecting for it a few years ago, it does have some really awesome games. Um, one of my favorites being this one right here, Kung Fu Chaos, uh, which is like a fighting slash party game, but the dialogue is absolutely hilarious. And um, I do believe that was a launch title for the Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I got Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. I love the Elder Scrolls series. I got some Forza Motorsports. Uh, Shenmue 2. Let's see, original. This is the release that we actually got here in North America. Um, Japan and I do believe PAL regions um, got Shenmue 2 on the Dreamcast. I would love to own it because I do love the Shenmue games. Um, I didn't really play them until I got the remastered version of on PS4. So, but I did want to have the originals in my collection. Um, you know, just to have uh, for preservation purposes, so. All right, so moving on over here, I actually got a couple units here of Xbox 360 games. Kind of happy where my collection is at the moment. Um, not really heavily looking for 360 stuff, but if I do see something I like, I definitely check it out. So go through some highlights here. There's beautiful Katamari, uh, one of my favorites there. Again, more Forza games. We got Alan Wake, which I actually still need to try that. Uh, let's see. There's the Halo games, but I do I play those mostly on the Master Chief collection. 
uh, Blue Dragon, excellent RPG, Lost Odyssey. Probably um, thus far my favorite 360 game. Uh, <clears throat> I do have a sealed copy of Tales of Vesperia. This is the original edition that we got over here. Um, this Tales game was actually a 360 exclusive for quite some time, um, but Japan did get a director's cut version for PlayStation 3, uh, which is what we ended up getting on the remastered releases for PS4 and Xbox One, um, and eventually Switch. So I wouldn't mind getting it on the Switch, but again, don't really play my Switch a whole lot at the moment, and I cannot get these games in. Sorry, guys. Not very professional. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to, camera's gonna go wonky here for just a second, there we go. All right, and I don't wanna forget about the Fable games either. Those are really excellent adventure games as well. And down here in the corner, I'm sorry about the lighting guys, but my Xbox One collection. Again, got the Forza for ya. And I got Halo. A lot of good stuff. So, Forza Horizon 4. My Probably my favorite racing game of all time. Got some of my husband's games here as well. So, I'm going to show those off. Got Call of Duty World War II. That's in just a generic GameStop case. I really don't like collecting games that way, but... Um, my husband really wanted to play it and he didn't care if it had the complete case. So, got a couple stack there. And that's pretty much it for this shelving unit. And then here's my uh, here's my little uh, plastic bin there. Um, I have an assortment of controllers, cables, other odds and ends in there. Um, and this is an old box for uh, Halo 5 Guardians Xbox One console. Um, I basically have, um, I have my Atari 2600 games and my, some of my handheld games in there, like for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance and whatnot, and some other little odds and ends accessories that I use frequently. Um, and this little basket in here is just cleaning supplies and other random equipment that I, again, use on a more regular basis. The tag's going to get on my nerves. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh... And then over here, um, this used to be just solely my Nintendo 64 shelf, but I have utilized it in other ways. Um, up here <coughs> is where the majority of my collector's editions have gone. And then also that Evan Nino Kuni 2 Funko Pop. Awesome game if you love RPGs right here. Very awesome game. Um, this collector's edition was actually a pretty, uh, pretty limited print run. So I was glad to have that. I got Wonder Song. That was a limited run release. Very good game there as well. Uh, Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. I'm so sorry about the glare, guys. But this is the uh, After Hours Premium Edition, which you can see what all is included here. I got Spirit of the North from Signature Edition Games. It's got Pilgrim, Owlboy, and the Dragoon remake. Um, there's my box back there for Sackboy, A Big Adventure. I don't have the game in there currently, just the plushie. And, again, some other stuff. So, and starting off here, we got my Nintendo 64 collection going. I have all my box games up here as well. I will eventually work my way towards a complete boxed collection. But, for the moment, I'm just trying to focus on the cartridge. And then I also have a this Indiana Jones game sitting here as well because I got that at a convention. I just never put it into the right place. Um, some of my Nintendo handhelds here, I got my Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance. This is a Pokemon Center edition, which it needs touched up as you can see it. Some of the color is kind of fading on it, but haven't gotten around to doing that yet. My Game Boy Advance SP, my trusty red one. Uh, down here, some more loose N64 games, along with my three N64 consoles. Uh, there's the regular charcoal black one, the one I had as a kid. Um, and then this is one of the fantastic color consoles. This is great purple, which purple is actually my favorite color. So, But this uh, console is actually modded. 
So it will play games from any region, which will come in handy, as you will see here in a second. And then this is a Pikachu edition N64, which again, needs a few improvements here. You see Pikachu's nose is a little faded, uh, missing the top there for the transfer pack. And there's actually also a special controller that goes with this, which I still need to get. And then going down here towards the bottom, got some more loose N64 games. And over here are my Japanese N64 games. So uh, my goal with this collection here, it's not one that I plan to get every single game for. I'm just primarily, look, primarily looking for N64 games that never got a release here. So that's really what you see here at this point are games that never made it stateside. And then there's also a loose Japanese N64 game, but I do prefer to get in boxes. I think uh, I actually got that one for free from a retro store because they couldn't sell it. Um, now my stack of PSP games, pretty cool. I'd have to say probably my favorite out of here is Popo Locroy. Absolutely adorable RPG. So yeah, I'll take a good look there. Um, small stack of Vita games. I am uh, have a couple in the bedroom right now, but you probably have seen those in pickup videos. Um, small uh, 3DS and DS collection. Not really collecting heavily for that. And also a small stack of Dreamcast games. Again, not really collecting hardcore for it because there's just not a lot to find at the moment. So. And also got some loose PSP games right there. All right. And uh, the gaming setup's over there, but we'll go over that in just a second. Uh, I'll see up here, I do have some consoles sitting on top of these uh, bookshelves here. So we got the Dreamcast, GameCube, Xbox 360 with a uh, camo cover. My husband found that at a yard sale. Works pretty good, actually. Uh, Black Wii U, Sega Saturn, uh, PS1, and original Xbox. And then down here, this is my pride and joy for game collecting. So this is the PS1 section, along with the PS1 Classic, which I do not recommend this one at all. Terrible. Um, so I'll get you guys a close-up here. So again, as you can see, I love RPGs, so you're going to see a lot of those here. Um, Star Ocean, the second story is a really good one. Uh, Legend of Mana. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Thousand Arms is really good as well. So, get you guys all kind of look in there. And a couple Japanese imports, which I'm actually hoping to get a Japanese PS2 at some point. And then down here starts the PS2 section. Um, some of my husband's games are going to be mixed in here as well because he loves the PS2 as well. So I can give you guys just kind of an overview. You're going to see um, some fighting games in my collections as well because I do enjoy fighting games. It's another one of my favorite genres. So yeah, Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 are really good. The Wild Arms games. Um, again, among my favorites. And we'll go down here for a few more. So I got some up here. And I actually do have several sealed PS2 games, but I think I'm going to actually do a video where I unbox those. And then some of my husband's stuff down here too. So he's a race car guy, sports guy, shooter. Um, and then a few of my odds and ends over here. So I got some Japanese imports. Those are the PS2 Tales games that we never got over here. So I'm going to pull those out so you guys can see them a little more clearly. So this one is Tales of Rebirth. And we also got Tales of Destiny 2. And my 3DS sitting over here because I don't have a place to put it. Otherwise, um got Tales of Legendia, really good game, Tales of the Abyss, excellent game as well, and that does it here, that shelf is currently empty. And we're going over here, so this is the PS3, 4, and 5 section, so got a couple, couple rows here of PS3 games, so let y'all see that again, some of my husband's games will be mixed in here as well. 
So I'll let you guys uh, take a look at that. There's the Yakuza series. Fantastic series there. Um, some Japanese imports. Again, those are primarily the Yakuza games. Uh, this is Ryoga Gotoku Kenzon. Uh, Ryoga Gotoku is what uh, the Yakuza games are called in Japan, which means like a dragon. So we got Yakuza 5. Um, never got a physical release on the PS3 over here. And then this is Ryoga Gotoku Ishin. Played that on the PS4, actually love it. And then Yakuza 0, which we never got the PS3 version of Yakuza 0 here. So, let's see what else we got here. So it's Ratchet and Clank games, those are awesome. So I do plan on expanding a little bit more on my PS3 games, but I am pretty happy uh, with where it is right now, so. And then down here, got a lot of PS4 games, so I think you guys kind of know where that's at with me. So, but again, Yakuza Collection sitting over there. Really awesome Borderlands. And there's my Shenmue games. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online. And this one, oh yeah, it's that Taiko no Tetsujin drum game. Got some more Tales goodness. Uh, Little Big Planet 3. So, again, really good stuff. Nino Kuni games. All right. And then we got Life is Strange as well. And then finish, uh, finish the games off down here again with more PS4 games. Sorry, gonna light back there so that you guys can see those and my PS5 games. All right. And to go over the last little bit here, so I have a couple of uh, designated things for some of my other favorite games here. So we have the Horizon Zero Dawn shelf, a couple statues, a lot of Funko Pops, and all the editions of the games that got released, plus an art book. And more Funko Pops. <laughs> and then my Assassin's Creed shelf. Probably my favorite franchise of all time. So as you can see, I've got... Uh, I put the Assassin's Creed games over here that I have. And then, of course, statues. I got a poster. Um, some Funkos I took out of the box. And other figurines. Apple of Eden there. And then what I got from the Valhalla set. Um, down there are just some plug-and-play consoles that I haven't really put anywhere specific yet. And then over here are some statues and other odds and ends. So I'll give you guys a quick look over at that. There's my Sonic back there from Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. And then my giant Yoshi Amiibo uh, Witcher 3 figurine of Geralt. And there's the Persona 5 Royale Collector's Edition uh, Wreck-It Ralph mini arcade cabinet. And then there's that uh, Rage 2 Crush. Yeah, it's Crusher. I couldn't remember offhand. And then my SpongeBob figures from when I did the Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated unboxing, uh, along with uh, SpongeBob socks and some Tiki keychains. Got a couple PlayStation mugs. There's a Zelda Breath of the Wild puzzle back there that I have yet to open. Um, some items that I got from Club Nintendo years ago. So there's Hanafuda cards, playing cards. Uh, this one right here I actually got from the Nintendo store in New York City. Um, that little figure again was also from Club Nintendo. A couple little pins and a uh, soundtrack. And then my Last of Us Part Two shelf. Again, I have those games designated over here. We got the PS4 headset and controller. Ellie statue, well, two of them. Also, I have a Nathan Drake Funko Pop, but again, I didn't have anywhere else to put them. Uh, a couple art books back there. Thank you letter from Naughty Dog. Uh, there's a vinyl record back here. It's with Ellie on it. And then way down there at the bottom is my Ghost of Tsushima stuff that came with a collector's edition as well. And my Skyrim lore collector's edition book set. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this game room tour for 2021. 
Uh, if I do make any significant changes, I will kind of film an update video, not an, an entire game room tour, but just a section I changed around a bit. So, um, oh, you know what? Here's my gaming setup, actually. So, got my uh, monitor over here. I believe this is a 32-inch Samsung monitor. It is 4K, uh, 60 hertz refresh rate. And my PS5 camera for when I do live streams. Uh, my Pulse 3D headset, charging dock for my PS5 controllers, as my Nintendo Switch, the Animal Crossing edition. This is my display port to HDMI uh, converter that does not work. So definitely have some issues with that. So anyway, so my Xbox One X, this is the Battlefield 5 edition. Uh, PS5 controller I'm currently using with uh, some control freaks. These are the Icon X editions, exclusive to their website. And then my PS5 console. Again, as you can see, there's my monitor. Uh, a couple games back there that I'm playing. My bottle of water that I usually have over here. Uh, sitting on top of a PlayStation drink coaster. And over here are some little odds and ends. So I got a uh, Joy-Con grip my Skyrim edition grip. I'll actually get over here so you all can see it a little closer. Um, these are some HyperX earbuds. So my Skyrim Joy-Con grip. I love this thing. A couple headsets. So that red and blue one is for Switch. And then this black one here is an Astro A10. That is for my Xbox One. And also have Xbox One controller. Again with a control freak. And my Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Again, also with a Control Freak. And of course, my uh, GT Racing gaming chair. So it's pink. My husband got this for me for Christmas last year, which is awesome. Um, and you're also gonna notice this little strip down here these are actually some gaming LED lights. Um, currently having an issue getting them connected. I don't know if there's a problem with the USB port I'm using, but I'll eventually get it working and maybe I'll just do a follow-up video for that as well. And of course, I also got my Ellie backpack that came with the Ellie edition of Last of Us Part Two. Alrighty, now that actually concludes uh, the game room tour for 2021. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I did have a lot of fun making it. And if you have any questions about anything, you can always leave them in the comments down below. And also subscribe if you like what you see. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day and keep on gaming.